Well, well, well. What have we got here? Forget! Dick, can I have some gold ch Well, if it is my old business partner, I never thought I'd see you again. What a wonderful surprise. And you couldn't have come at a better moment. Have you ever seen such a marvelous transformation? Families enjoying wholesome fun. Not a criminal or a ruffian in sight. All poverty eradicated. And I own it all. Even the Crucible, that grandest and heroic of arenas. Great commentary team they have too. You've probably noticed I've done a fair bit of changing myself. I'm free from the shackles of that ridiculous thesaurus from the temple of business and yogaring. I'm a respectable man now. But enough of that. I have a very healthy sum of gold for you here. Your investment plus ten years of interest and my heartfelt thanks. <laughs> now. It's time I found new pastures, new ventures. The world is my bivalve mollusk. <laughs> Good farewellizations to you. Well, bless my eyes, is that who I think it is? It is one of our most celebrated crucible champions. Oh, it does bring a blissful tear to one's cheek to have one of the family back, doesn't it, Mad Dog? Yeah, we're one big happy family. Or something. I hope you've come to compete. We have plenty of events for veterans such as yourself. Lots of blood still left to spill. Friends and foes with a dashing title. Come back for more, have you? Hope I can help you. In you go, then. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an old favourite for you today. A veteran of the Crucible, 
The Chosen One! And she's the current record holder for this week's event. Can she beat her own performance? Let's find out. Round one. Three, two, one, go! First wave! Ah, those cruddy, grabby, vile beetles. I hate them. Well, let's see how the new girl likes them. Second wave! Three, two, one, go! And the lady! He's another kill for her intrepid hero! Exciting! Third wave! Three, two, one, go! And the lady! She took aim, she fired, she hit! And the beetle curls over! <laughs> she let her go down there for a second. And she better put it back up round. quick. Uh. Well, we promised butchery, and butchery is what we delivered. And there are seven rounds to go. Round two, three, two, one, go! First wave! And here comes our challenger, waiting to impale! Second wave! Oh, nice! Three, two, one, go! He takes two eyes to the Axula! Round three. Three, two, one, go! First wave! Bullseye! What a shot! Everybody pays for that one. Someone's made a big hole in the ground! That'll be the darkest oh, remorseless face in the world! It's a kill! Oh, yes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Second wave! Three, two, one, go! Right. Just as bad as it is. Third wave. It's a tragedy. Three. Two. One. Go. Dog old man. You said you wouldn't cry anymore. Another scrumptious massacre. And we have five more still to come. Perfect round. You deserve a present, you do. Round four. Three, two, one, go! First play! Oh, this place brings out the old romantic in me! Of the dead tree. You've never been married, have you, Murray? I would rather die first, old friend. Speaking of death, can I see something very important down there? Second wave. Three, two, one, go! Exciting! Oh, yes. Yeah. You can tell she takes the shooting. Well, 
One, go! just what a great platter of slaughter we are witnessing here today. And we've four more rounds left. Perfect round. the killing, all right? She killed that one like she was swatting an insect. Round six, three, two, one, go! Away! Watch as fire spells from the walls, mad dog! I don't stare into the abyss! What you do? Don't stare into the abyss! Why? It's sucking your soul. No, but if you're anything like me, you'll probably get a bit queasy. Second wave! Three, two, one, go! Third wave! Three, two, one, go! Two rounds to go! 
Perfect round! Round seven. Three, two, one, go! First way! All you can smell the history of this arena. It smells of battle, of blood, of fear. And just a hint of vanilla. Second way! Three, two, one, go! Such proportions, it is surely unimaginable to people who have little imagination. Yep, that was pretty impressive.
As you can see, the temple has prospered greatly during your absence. Without your help, this place would be deserted and its people dead or scattered. Hey! You look like the sort of goes into caves, dungeons and what not when people ask them to. You can help me. It's my digs, you see. I live in this cosy little cavern. Hardly any dampness at all. But I've been kicked out by a family of hobs. See, I came to the temple for shelter. But if you can kick those creatures out of my cave, well, I can go home. So you're not afraid of a few little hobs, surely? Ha, ah, that's brilliant! Yeah, in you go then! Ah, welcome, my good friend. Please contribute. Oh, you're leaving. That makeup really makes you look good. You do nothing but good, Chosen One. I'm sure you'll be a great success.
You were meant to get eaten, but you killed them. Murderer! Did you see Hammer? She is on her way as well, with the information she's gathered. Our friend has told me much about you. That night in the castle, your sister, I had no idea. If I'd known, I would have stopped him. Sorry it took me so long. Lucian's men are all over the place. You must be Hammer. And you must be Garth, Lucian's lackey. I was made to understand you might be mistrustful. I didn't anticipate your staggering wit and intellect. Oh yeah? And did you anticipate that I like to take a hammer and whack smug little spell flingers? This is not what we're here for. 
Hammer has information on the third hero. Mostly gathered from a tavern, I hear? Not one, lots of them. I did a proper tour. Right. I think this bloke, the thief, is a pirate called Reaver. He runs the port of Bloodstone to the southwest. And you got this from some drunk? Yeah. He sailed with Reaver for years. Said they captured hundreds of ships. Doesn't mean he's a hero. Lots of pirates capture ships. Reaver takes down galleons with one bullet. High winds, rough seas, a mile away, it doesn't matter. He picks off the captain. The more impossible the shot, the quicker the crew surrenders. Impressive. But we're not trying to make Lucin surrender. No, we're not. Bloodstone is surrounded by Wraith Marsh on three sides, and Ocean on the fourth. No matter. We can reach it via Colossus Gate. Not this one. It leads only to Hero Hill. Got another one handy, have you? I built one, at my tower. It can get us to Wraithmarsh. Okay, you're a genius. Does it work? It will take some time to activate, but it should work. Should? You must do this together. Lucian has sent men to guard Brightwood Tower. Okay then, let's go. After you, your brilliance. Barbarian. We shouldn't use the front gate. Lucian's men will be expecting us. Follow me. I know another way in. It really is great to have you back. I went back to the temple for a while. Same old nonsense. Ignorant men trying to tell everyone how to live their lives based on books written a thousand years ago. Right. And nothing that ancient could possibly contain any wisdom. Hey! These aren't old kingdom schematics that teach you how to build guns that shoot lightning. It's a load of superstitious nonsense that never helped anybody. And if you swallow it all, it can get you killed. Hmm. We may actually be in agreement there. But let's cut this short. We have a lot to do.
Come on, then. Lucian's men, they're looking for me. They're between us and the Colis Gate. We'll have to fight our way through. Just how I like it. Try this. You'd be sore in the morning if you lived to see it. Remember that. a game of spinner box guaranteed So you are back, finally. I will need to concentrate to start the gate. I must rely on the two of you to watch my back. Oh, sure. We'll do all the work while you sit there and think. Let me know when it's my turn for a break, will you? Is that a shard? Amazing, isn't it? A sunset's amazing. That thing's a bloody nightmare.
all in them. They don't want us dead. They're coming up the stairs! I know that's supposed to be comforting, but it's not. It's not alone. this thing up in no time. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Damn it. I remember you. Just a few more adjustments. Well, well, well. What have we got here? <laughs> a 
Is it alive? Yeah, you, you had a dog with you there, like. <laughs> it ran off into the fog. <laughs> the Banshees will have it by now. <laughs> Aye, you've seen the last of that mongrel, I can tell you. Here, you from Bloodstone, eh? No, no, you ain't got the stink of it about you. Tis a wicked place. Would be burnt to the ground if there was any justice. So, what do I do about you? I reckon I'll burn you as well. <laughs> You should be able to hear me now. You're alive. The Colors Gate malfunctioned, and Hammer and Garth were sent back to the Guild. You've made it to Wraithmarsh. But you're on your own for now. Well, you're not entirely on your own. But Hammer and Garth cannot reach you. Be wary. The fog here is unnatural. Somehow it dampens the guild seal. Bloodstone is on the far side of the marshes. I suggest you head there, quickly. Something in the marsh is controlling the fog and using it against you. You need to find the source and destroy it. So stay on your guard. I may lose contact with you again because of the fog. This used to be Oakvale, though it has changed radically since I saw it last, and that was a long time ago. It has seen many a cruel deed. Six hundred years ago, bandits attacked the village and burned it to the ground. The survivors rebuilt their lives, only to have them destroyed a second and final time. 
A new threat came from within. A reckless young villager made a deal with the forces of Shadow, who took the lives of every other resident as payment. All of his family, all of his friends, everyone he loved. And now, the marsh has engulfed the village, and Oakvale is nothing but a bitter memory. You're making good progress. You're about halfway through the marshes now. You'll be in Bloodstone before you know it. How does a rubbish shooter like you stay alive? <laughs> Few survive Banshee attacks. You're nearly there, nearly safe. Oh! <laughs> 
town center is over the next rise. largest house in Bloodstone. That'll be Reavers. I suggest you go and make the thief's acquaintance. to have you back. Know what you're looking for? I like you, oh, you so just much. Love being good, don't I you, just chosen had to one? get you a present. Hi, you knew around dear. Come here and play some real games. Go back to the wild. Where you, you live? You taking the Mickey? Cheers. I have titles for the great. Wanna have some fun? Hello there. Oh, the smell of it. It's oh, disgusting. Yeah. in your glass, because then you get another for free. Don't fancy cutting your finger off, do ya? continue our efforts regardless, Sister Beverly. But they seem so fruitless at times, Brother Toby. Yeah. Nice. We will transform this lawless town. All it takes is a little faith. We could use some help, too. You're my favorite, you are. You speak the truth, sister. Indeed you do. It is clear that we must cleanse this town of the infamous Silver Serpent. I'll make you forget all your troubles. Yippee! Oi, love! You got business with Reaver? He's through the back. Well, hello there. Always a nice surprise to have company. I don't get many visitors to my little coastal paradise. Especially ones who might well redefine a man's concept of paradise. <laughs> you little minx. On the rare occasions that people make it through Wraith Marsh, they're lost, confused, scared. And not you. You are looking for someone. And if you're looking for someone in Bloodstone, let's be honest, you're looking for me. But I'm afraid I hate wasting time on nobodies. That's you. Tell you what, why don't you go out and 
rescues and travellers, or slays and beasts, or slays and travellers. The details are unimportant. But prove to me that you're worth dealing with, and you'll have my full attention. That's it. Scoot. Off you go. Vamos. Quevec. Allez-vous-en. <laughs> Do you think my buttons look like that? <laughs> There's nothing for it. We need his help, and he wants to play his little game. So you must play it. Or Lucian will soon get what he wants. With the Colors Gate inoperable, Wraith Marsh cuts you off from the rest of the world. If you need to leave Bloodstone, perhaps a sea captain would give you passage. Mummy used to dress you in girls' clothes. I saw him. It be true. With me own two peepers, I tell ye. Yeah. Oh, they think old Jack's mad. But he's not. You're better than a bucket of Boy, cheap wine, you are. Ah, you there. I have a tale for thee, ye'll scarcely credit, of legends and vast treasures and... Ah, uh, my throat is... Ah, far too dry to go on. Thanks. What's your point? What will it be this time? <laughs> Sensible buy. Yeah. It's not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. What do you want? Ah, <laughs> thank ye. It does me a world of good, that. Now, listen to old Jack's story and be amazed. Aye, there I was, laid down unconscious on the beach, an empty bottle of fire juice in my arms like some high-bosomed maiden. When I beheld his figure by a nearby cave. Captain Dread! So cold hearted in life was he, I tell ye, he would strike his surname into your soul with nary a look. Why, I ran, swam, and paddled as fast as I could for a restorative brew, but no man here will believe me. <laughs> You prove me right, won't ye? You? you prove old Jack ain't telling no tales. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a waste of time. Ah, I knew I could count on ye. You. You'll find the cave on the coast. But take care. Yes, take care of dreaded Captain Dread. Stay away from the inn in Rookridge. There's this awful stink. And no one knows what it is. Got the skills to beat my game? I bought some great stuff in the sale nearby. Oh well, come and find me if you ch Hey! Look at me when I'm insulting you, you walking sack of con!
Cursed be all ye who enter the domain of Captain Dread. The living ain't welcome in my crew. Dread's treasure will bring ye a watery death. This cave shall be your grave.
somebody made a stone. But at least I ain't stone blind. You found the old dead sea dog. I, I knew you would, brave lass. Finished him off for good and stole his ship too. <laughs> the Marianne. Never thought I'd see her and count myself living. Aye, you'll be a legend among pirates for this, you will. And you proved Salty Jack ain't gone soft in the head yet. I can go back to my port without fear of ridicule. I thank ye. You are now famous enough to use the kiss my ass expression. Yay! You and your deeds are the talk of Bloodstone. If nothing else, you will have piqued Reaver's curiosity. The Crypt of... His name is... We need a strategy. You da, boys are da, all da. the same. <laughs> Kazam! Can I be your... I'm pleased to serve you. Oh, I really recommend that. Excellent choice. Pleasure dealing with you. Remember, no refunds. That's one of my favorite items. You can't do better. Friends. Don't make 
me mad. Oh, good to have you back. I want to take a couple of inches off my hair. Where are the stylists? I command. Oh, Stone had a sale on. Now I think about it. We're owned by a real adventurer. Oh, I it there. So you know our goods are good. Hello, chosen one of an anteater. Anyway, they're just the right age, these. But you. You're my favorite customer. Who is here is a real artist, you know. I remember growing up around here. There weren't one anywhere one near as many shops and houses. Beyond recognition. Is there a tattoo parlor wow. nearby? Whoa. No Your need to go far for that. There's a shop in town. You are indeed the chosen. Charlie? Charlie? Is that you? Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you. He ran off saying he was going to explore some caves. Playing adventurers again, of course, the silly boy. You know how children are. They always think they're old enough to make it on their own. He might get scared when he sees you. So here, take this note so he knows you're a nice grown-up he can trust. My big brother says role playing. Thank you for your custom. Whatever you need, I'm sure to ask. Well, my place is quite a place. A fellow explorer? What spiffing good luck! Maybe you can help me. I say, what's that you have there? That handwriting, surely it can't be... Give me here! <coughs> Grandmother, I should have known. My name is Charles. Charles! And I'm a belly brave adventurer myself! Oh, 
She does make my blood boil. How would you like some old woman telling you what to do all the time? Still, you don't seem like such a bad egg. Uh, perchance you could lend us a hand opening this bother of a chest. Just be a good chum and keep these undead blighters off me while I open this chest, will you? Tony <laughs> ho! Here they come! <laughs> Gosh, I didn't see that coming, I must say.
Oh, hello, dear. But where is Charlie? Didn't you find him? Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. He was such an innocent child. Wouldn't have harmed a soul. Here, take his birthday present. It will only remind me of that sweet, sweet boy. You ever felt professional? We must continue our efforts regardless, Sister Beverly. But they seem so fruitless at times, Brother Toby. We will transform this lawless town. All it takes is a little faith. We could use some help, too. You speak the truth, Sister. Indeed you do. It is clear that we must cleanse this town of the infamous Silver Serpent. But how? They're so powerful, and they've stolen so many holy pieces from our temple. I know, I know, and yet we have to find a way. I don't know. Sometimes I think we'll never bring peace to this terrible city. With courage, persistence, and faith, we will do it. We will wash away all evil from this cesspool. It's a shame that yodeling didn't succeed in changing the hearts of the people in this city, Brother Toby. We must adapt our methods if we are to save the world, Sister Beverly. Impressive! Welcome, stranger. You are not a native blood stoner, are you? And yet, you have no doubt noticed what a corrupt and sinful place it is. I am Toby, of T-O-B-Y, the Temple of Benevolent Yokels. I am on a mission to turn this town into as peaceful and rustic a land as Bowerstone or Oakfield. T.O.B.Y. blesses you, my friend. I will tell you of the grave conspiracy that has sunk Bloodstone into the anarchic pit it finds itself in today. But not before you recover the first of the holy pieces needed for the rite of cleansing. It is the mutton of eternal hope. I sense it has been concealed in a house on the waterfront above the tattoo parlor. I could smell its deliciously sacred juices as I passed it yesterday. Now go, and may benevolent yokels guide your hand. for the greatest say, five three? minutes of your life. It's the game everyone's playing! Why don't you play it too? Would you like a favourite part?
Those trousers look... Take your time. Plenty You're for everyone. You're about as cute as a dog Would can you be. Like to see more of me? <laughs> you do nothing but good, chosen one. And for that, we admire you. All right. I'm too soft. That's mm. my problem. Okay. You're forgiven. I can okay, let then. it go this time. Shall we go somewhere private? You're the greatest celebrity ever. I'll make you wail like a banshee, baby. Wonderful! You have retrieved the mutton of eternal hope. You are a deserving member of T.O.B.Y. It is time I told you the reason for this city's chaotic state. Forget about Reva. Bloodstone is ruled by a secret organization known as the Silver Serpent. I will tell you more soon. But first, you must recover the second of the stolen holy ritual pieces. It is the Wine of Forgiveness. I sense it is hidden in a nearby house. I see two barrels and a cart outside. Turn left when you leave and go up the street. the bar across from my house. Got himself assassinated last week. Oh, uh, okay. Just this once, then. I would really appreciate it if you left. You want a party? You can even invite someone else along. So, it's a fight you want to do. Right then. Nice try, but I'm calling the guards. Oh, all right then. I'll forgive you, this once. How much would you pay for the greatest five minutes of your life? If it's the brothel you're looking for, you got the wrong oh. place. Please leave. leave. Do you think you're outside the law? Fancy a bit of role playing. Hooray! Hooray! Excellent. Soon I will be able to perform the ritual and destroy the Silver Serpent Gang, thus paving the way for our benevolent Yokel Crusade. Like the other holy pieces, the next item appears to be a mundane object, yet has remarkable power. It is the sacred pie of kindness. I sense it is being kept in a house next to the boathouse. Just let your nose guide you.
Oi! How you doing, pal? You're the sorriest excuse for a hero I ever saw, and I've seen plenty. Woo! Not bad for a bunch of hair. Ah! How's it you going, think you're smart. Won't do it again. Just don't let me catch you at it again. Looks like you need a nice lie down. I'll let you off. Just don't do it again. Leave me alone. I'll let you off. Want to have some? Fun. Ha! I can smell your awful breath all the way from here. You got a sweet tooth, sugar. Yeah. Just don't do it again. I hear your shooting's as bad as your body odor. We could make some sweet, you sweet got, music. Please. You're still nicer than most of the men round here. Ah, yes. Thank you. A million times. Thank you. We will clean up this city after all. In fact, before we gather the final items for the ritual of cleansing, I have an important mission for you. One that will begin the purge at once. It has come to my attention that certain poor people are forced to walk the streets, selling their flesh in the most sinful way. Bring me one such lost soul that I may show her the error of her ways. Looking for some quick fun? You should be sorry. Oh, Just don't let me catch you at it again. I can let it go. Jam. Get the jam. Come now, let's see it. Okay, lead the way. There's one that's sure to break the law again. See, celebs can be good too. Hi there, chosen one. Oh, a charmer. Oh yes, very good, very good. This poor woman needs my full attention. Now if you'll just leave us alone, I'll call you when you're needed again. So, you're Toby's latest patsy, are ya? That swine always gets an outsider to do his dirty business using some scam. What was it this time? The temple thing again? <laughs> I bet he reeled you in by talking to some fake brother or sister about how to clean up this town. You ask me, you ought to get rid of that swindler. Scare him out of town or cut his head off, I don't care. 
plenty of people round here will thank you for it. And you've got no guards to worry about. You're loaded, aren't you? Ah. You ever felt professional? <laughs> What? Go away! I'm busy! I'm so lucky to know you. So, so I won't ask you again. Get lost! Look, I said... Oh, it's you. Uh, I'm not quite finished here. Why don't you go and find, um, uh, let me see. What else do I want? Hello, chosen one. <laughs> Please, don't kill me. I'll leave. Leave forever. You're, um, brilliant and just shiny, right? That was my very favorite. I have a lot more. I'm gonna be like changing my business real yeah. quick. Whoa! Woo yeah! Woo! Woo! Oh, wow. <laughs> You're a real. Fancy a bit of role playing? Yeah! Just don't I'll let me catch you, you at it once. again. Mm. Leave okay. me alone. You're forgiven. Yippee! Just don't let me wants. catch you at it again. And he often does. <coughs> oh. Okay. All right, You're then. forgiven. I oh, can't see why yeah. I should. All right. But okay. Woo, Hello, right. chosen one. Ready for the time of your life? <coughs> 